Risa Floor utilizes intuitive floor-by-floor -floor model input to design and optimize building systems constructed of composite and non-composite steel, concrete, masonry, wood, and cold form steel. In this video, we'll take a look at how the engineers can use the Risa Revit link to leverage model information from Autodesk Revit when creating a model in Risa Floor. So to start, we've got this multi-story steel building. So I've got some composite steel floors, some joists at the roof, we've got some brace frames, and then also some concrete walls both at the entry level here and in two separate cores in the wings of the building. Now the exchange between Revit and Risa Floor can be incredibly useful and save you a lot of time since both softwares require users to establish floors and create model geometry on a floor-by-floor -floor basis. Another major component of the transfer between Revit and really any structural analysis software, including Risa Floor, is the analytical model. This analytical model is the basis of the transfer between the softwares. So if I open the analytical model, we can see this kind of other model type that is kind of linked to the physical model. Now, if I go to level two and I select any member here, we can see the properties of this member, so the physical properties of this particular member. So I've got the wide flange, so the shape, we've got the material. So I've got an A992 material here. We've got the reference level, so this beam is referenced to level two. However, if we select the drop down here, we could also select the analytical beam, and we can see some additional information that's really important for this structural analysis model. So we can see here from a RISA perspective, this beam is going to be transferred and designed as a composite beam. We can also see that we have an option for how we want to analyze this beam as a gravity or a lateral member. We can also see that there are options for end releases. So is this a pin pinned or a fixed pinned or a fixed fixed beam in our system? Now the same holds true for wall elements. So if I go ahead and select a wall element here, again, in the basic properties, we've got the size, thickness, and material here. But if we go ahead and switch to our analytical wall, we can see whether we've decided to analyze this wall as a gravity and lateral element. So a basically a lateral element within Risa floor. We can also see that there's some alignment options that we can set as well. Finally, if we go ahead and select the floor, we can see the metal deck and or composite deck option that exists for our floor. And now this is information, if we go ahead and edit the type and into structure, this is the information that's gonna be transferred into Risa floor to define that deck. So we've got a metal deck with a normal weight concrete total thickness of five inches with a three inch concrete above a two inch metal deck. Now, if we hop back to the 3D model, one important thing to remember is that while connectivity may not be important in an architectural model, it is really essential for our structural analysis model. And so if I open again that analytical model, I can kind of zoom in here and see how important our connection between beams and girders or beams and columns or making sure that the beams are aligned properly to floors or making sure that the corners of walls meet each other. These are all really important things for how a model would be analyzed in a structural analysis software like Risa Floor or like Risa 3D. So it's important that you pay attention to the connectivity of elements in Revit so that issues don't arise when doing structural analysis in Risa Floor. Now when the model is ready for transfer, we can go ahead to the add-ins tab and we can see the Risa Revit link here. Now I'm gonna go ahead and click export to Risa because that's what we're doing here. We're gonna export this model information created in Revit to Risa Floor. And so I would select Risa Floor as our model export destination. And we can see some of our export options. First, we could choose to automatically launch the application, which we will do. We could also only choose to export selected objects if we want to. In this case, we're gonna go ahead and leave that blank because we're gonna to to export the whole model. We then have some options including that we want to optimize member sizes once we get them into Risa Floor rather than just analyze the sizes that exist in the Revit model. Additionally, we have the option for a physical or analytical model approach. The physical model export utilizes member constraints such as reference level along with the analytical model to properly exchange model information with Risa Floor. And this is really based on the fact that both Autodesk Revit and Risa Floor are these floor by floor reference level approaches. Now we can also go ahead and look at the elements that we want to link with Risa. So we can choose, yes, I want to send over the walls, the grids, any diaphragms or floors. If we wanted to bring over loads or load combinations, we could as well, um, but those not have, have not been defined in this particular model. 
Finally, we wanna go ahead and make sure that we have a model, a RESA file that we're gonna drop this model into. In most cases, I create a blank RESA file, so no information in the RESA file other than just having a, a saved location so that we can import all this model data in. Now when we're ready, we can go ahead and just click OK. And the transfer is gonna go ahead and begin. And so it's gonna verify the model and then the progress is gonna start transferring all the different information, the members, the, the member sizes, the materials, all the member geometry and locations. And then finally, we'll get a little report here. Now we can see the exported summary here. So all the beams, columns, materials, walls, openings that were transferred. If we wanted to, we could save and open a log file in Word or we can just click OK, and Risa Floor is going to open up automatically. Now with the floor open automatically, we can go ahead and look at the 3D model view. So we just have a really basic 3D model view here. And so we can see at a given, we can see the, the concrete walls, we can see the steel columns, steel beams, we can see the joists at the roof. Let's go ahead and look at one of the levels here. So let's look at like level four, for instance. And so on level floor, we can go ahead and see you know, if clicking on a beam that this is a wide flange beam, that it has A992 steel, that was correct, it's pin pinned, that was the same as defined in Autodesk Revit. We can also go ahead and look at like our deck types, for instance. So our deck types show that we have, uh, this is a floor that we had a low roofs on, so we've got a roof section out here and a roof section up here, so we've got different deck, metal deck in the blue here, and our composite deck in the green. We could also see that, if we turn this off, we can also go ahead and see that our shapes were transferred properly, so we had these joists at the roof, at the roof level, and our wide flanges um, on the floor level here. So with model geometry now created from the Revit import, users can define design rules, apply loading, create load combinations, and run the analysis to complete the design of all the gravity elements in Risa Floor. For more information about Risa Floor, please visit risa.com.